Jonathan, how does it feel to get your title back? It was a long time coming, you know, and uh, it still kind of hasn't set in yet. But you know, when I walked away from my third deadlift, I just couldn't. I couldn't. I was like, "Is it done?" They're like, "Yeah." I was like, "I don't believe you." Someone's gonna pull, like, you know. I was like, "Someone has to be pulling, right?" And they're like, "No." So. <laughs> I mean, um, I thought you never know what. Yeah, you never know. Try, I was like, "Dude, Gustav pulls like." I think did the smart thing. He did the smart thing. Um, but you know, um, it was a long time coming, and I'm just happy. Um, I remember during warm-ups, I just looked at everyone around me, and I was very uh, just happy. And I was just like, you know, just appreciating it that everyone's here, you know, so, uh, yeah. After Sheffield, we, like, I had very specific plans that would put him in a better position for this meet, and we did all of that, and it worked out great, and he even had room on a couple lifts, and I'm very, very happy with that, um, which is good because you guys know how the big ones scored, and there's room for, for him to take those. So that's very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm just really pleased with how everything went, and you know, it was this this specific session. It was very, very tight. Like all those lifters, you know, especially in that that top four group, was extremely. Um, th they're very strong. Everybody's strong. They have good guidance, um, and we were actually like we were ahead by, by a little bit you know um uh you know gavin had some tough calls which kind of like all right um took him out of the equation early on so now okay now i gotta worry about these two just kind of you know with john it's usually especially when you're going against a big deadlifter it's like if he's gonna pull last you're just taking what you can you're trying to max him out and like i said um we actually when I saw his deadlift opener, I was like, wow, like, okay, he's on. We went with the more aggressive jump, no problem there. Um, and then I was like, I was like trying to calculate like, okay, like what are these guys PRs and what would they have to do to, to get over him? And I was like, no, nah, there's, I just don't think 345 was a safe number. I don't think anyone's gonna jump over that. Although I did respect Gustav's deadlift. Um, I think he did the smart thing, you know, it was really close all the way to the end. And here's the thing, when you go against a big deadlifter in a tight class, you know, one lifter misses one thing that bumps them down a position. And then you get, so now the guy that you're going against, like Emil's waiting for him to mess up. So if we don't mess up, he's good to go. Emil missed the lift and that opens the door up for the big deadlifter to come in and like punish you even more. So it's like, you could literally drop like so many positions so quickly, um, especially at this level. So. You know, and the Swedish team is very smart and they make really good calls. So uh, I like I like Gustav. I think he's a good competitor. We have history with him. E every time that John competes, he has to go against like it's like so meaningful because everybody's good. You know, it's yeah. not like he's just gonna win. You know, blow him out. Everybody's really good. There's so many different scenarios that could play out. Um, we did have a quick turnaround from Sheffield to here, and like that's when I really got to put my thinking cap on and be like, okay, how are we going to get John with a short prep to this meet? And we were pretty burnt out, honestly, after Sheffield, and we did have to kind of like reset the mentals. And that his training split changed a lot to the point where we weren't going to the gym as often, but we're still getting the same amount of comp work. Um, and I think that really helped not only fix the mental aspect, but he's more recovered. And I mean, everything was great. And, and it was just, you know, it was a good team effort. And I'm just really happy that the plan, you know, when you make a plan, you want to execute the plan. Um, you know, we planned it out with, uh, you know, with everybody and it worked. It was great. So it was, it was really, it was very rewarding. And I was telling um, John's girl before the meet, uh, I believe you were asleep. And I said, she came to drop me off some protein. And I said, this one means a lot to me because of what happened last year. And I'm here a lot. Big part of the reason why I'm here. Of course, I'm here for everybody. But the re big part of the reason why I came out is because I want to make it right. Um, you know, I felt like at Sheffield, he won like the interim belt <laughs> and this was like the real belt. So, so super good. And he was 27 white lights, minefield of judging, like super, super difficult. I believe they had five jury members this time uh, instead of three. So it's, you know, it's like, it's, it's tough. And he, I mean, that's got to be like one of the cleanest performances like ever. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, I'm, I, it's weird because I'm happy. I'm always like, you know, you want to take today, tonight, like be happy about it. But I'm always like, wow, I could do a little bit better there. Oh, I could do a little bit better there. You know what I'm saying? But no, he needs to 
John needed this. He deserved this. And I'm just happy we got it. What did you feel that you had left in the tank on some of your lifts? Uh, squats was like two and a half, maybe. <laughs> I've squatted 300 like seven times in a row now for the past like six years, I feel like. <laughs> but we did change this footing, yeah. so it's kind of like a new thing, yeah. and we just need more time in that, and I think it'll be much better. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> bench, I had like five kilos. Yeah. Two and a half for sure, maybe five. Five was like 50 50. 248. Like, yeah, I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm ranging it in 250 uh, loading. 250 is nuts. Because um, <laughs> I felt like light. Like, like yeah. I, I, I on rack day, I was like, I'm just gonna go to sleep. <laughs> like, yeah, he was like, he, he I was like, I was just like using bench to like get my energy back for deads. Yeah, he literally <laughs> like, I saw a second bench and I was like, it was like a little. Why is he asleep? And then he just turned it up. Yeah, yeah. I was, I'm gonna save my gas because I knew I was like tired because I come, uh, you know, like especially with my weight class, like it's you can't, I can't, people. I can't miss a lift. Yeah, like, I know that coming in. I'm not, you know, I'm not stupid. You know, like I understand that. I'm, Essentially, I have to either go nine for nine or like eight for nine, or else it's just you're just gone, you know. So I have to like I pace I, I pace myself through the meet, you know. So like when I take that, you know, I took what five twenty five for my second bench or something, or five twenty three, yeah. um, and I was just like whatever, like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna save my like hype for third bench and then onto deads. Um, de so bench I had like two and a half for sure, maybe five. Um, deads. I had the same thing. I had, I had five kilos more, I feel like. I think I he could have done 350 if yeah. we absolutely needed it. Yeah, but I feel like, like 350 I would have been, like, slow, yeah. but I would have, like, got it. Yeah. Because second to third looked better than yeah. first Same thing. I paced second. myself. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I don't want to, like, go all out on my second and just be Did I mention this flight only had, I believe it was eight, eight people? Eight lifters. It was yeah. so fast. I so wanted fast. to ask you about that. I mean, how, how did the speed of this competition affect you? I was, oh, my God. I was, this is, like, the fastest and hardest me I've, I've ever had to do. Uh, by the time I got to like even my like even my first squat, I was like hyperventilating. It was so hot, you know. And like my third, like iron racked whatever I opened with, and I was like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> like, and I kind of woke up uh, getting to my second, and I knew my third. I was like, all right, here we go. I'm gonna we gotta grind another squat. Um, which it, it really wasn't that bad. I don't. I don't remember. No, I didn't. We need to get these. I, th I think the boys definitely, especially the guys that I had cut weight. Uh, the speed of it. It. I mean, everybody's squat was like a little bit slower. So, but then it, they come to yeah, life. Yeah, we by come to life by like yeah. end of bench, like early dids. Um, this is the heaviest I've came in. Uh, this is that's intentional. This is yeah. This that's is the first purpose. time I've had to sweat for a meet for the past like against like six years. Um, they got a great spa here. Yeah, there was a you know the really, sauna. It's really like, easy to get a, hot. Like, yeah. That was a sauna. I, was, I walk in and I'm on fire. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I had to I had to sweat a little bit, um, and that was a new experience. I was like almost we were almost like testing that. It's just like how heavy I can I be? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't worried yeah. about it, but I was like, how am I gonna feel by like mm -hmm. you know? I was like, I know it's a fast meet, so I have to kind of you know respect how much I've cut, and I was able to kind of get back up to weight. Um, shout out to my nutritionist, you know, and. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, he takes care of me. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Did you do anything in the prep for this meet to prepare for the speed? I, well. Unintentionally. Unintentionally, because we changed my days. And, like, I got really good at long days that, like, were, like, kind of fast. But, I like, but they're long. Like, I, I PR'd for how long I trained one day. And I was telling everyone, they're, like, they don't, they don't believe he me. He basically stayed in the gym all day. And I, and I, just, had, like, I had a nine-hour training yeah. session. <laughs> it was, like, two weeks out or three weeks out. I had a nine-hour training session, like I want, you know, <laughs> and I was like, I've been here a long time, bro. <laughs> like, and I'm no, still that doing was, that was, I, I didn't, you know, that was by, that wasn't by design. It just ended up. It just ended, just yeah. ended up doing it's that. It's because like yeah. my deadlifts take a long time, my bench takes a long time, yeah. even my light bench still takes a long time. He doesn't compromise quality for you know. Just because like I want to get out. But yeah. we did combine his days, um, so instead of being spread out, it was like more condensed. And it worked really, really well. I felt it would address the mental, like, sort of drainage that we had having to compete so frequently. And then Sheffield, like, and, you know, imagine we had to go all out twice in, like, three months. Like, it's yeah. a lot. And you know? So, yeah. And, like, every time I compete, I have to go, like, all out. You know? And, um... Man, I think this was the first me I didn't have to like. But like PR mad. in the world record total after a quick turnaround and yeah. speed me, I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, saying, I'm actually like, really happy. Yeah, with what that. do you attribute his ability to do that? I mean, to turn around from Sheffield breaking the world record and then turn around and do it again here in such a short period of time. Um, anime. Anime. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll, I want to ask him about the mental aspect, but I think 
He lifts really, really clean, so that's not something we waste a lot of time on. Uh, he's very good with his nutrition timing and like making sure he's fueled up to be able to handle something like this. Um, and you know, fast meats, like the human body can only be like, uh, I'll use the word like aroused, like for exertion, like for a certain amount of time. So they complete the meat in 90 minutes to two hours. Uh, that kind of, that might, that sometimes that can play to your benefit. Um, but also another thing, just what you talked about earlier. To, to prepare him to be able to handle this fast meat, like I said, we changed uh, his squat to where it wasn't so posterior chain extensive and more get you know more forward knee travel. Um, of course, you still use your back, but it wasn't as much. And that really allowed That's... him to save his back. So that was something I wanted to address at Sheffield. But like this meat happened to be super fast, and it was like, oh, well, that's going to work perfectly. Um, and a lot of the other guys may not have, you know, I mean, I try to change like a lot of things. Like I try to, I try to manipulate variables that I think some people like they may not even think that's a thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it paid off big time. And then also mentally, John, you know, you had to be tough to be able to do this. Yeah. Like to this, like, especially with the speed. After Sheffield, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't want to do this meet. You can ask like anyone. I was just like, no, I'm not gonna. Do it. Like, I didn't like going after like even going into Sheffield. I was like, no matter what happens at Sheffield, I'm not gonna do worlds. I don't like. I've been doing too many meets. I've I've like. I've had so many just like hard meets. Like some people can just do a meet, like some people do a local meet, some people could do like, you know, they'll do an international meet, but they're just so ahead that they could just like take a, it's like not even a hard day, but no matter what, when I compete for the past, like since 20, it's always a battle, 20, you know? like 19, yeah. every time I've competed, it's always been like, I barely won. And that's just like but extremely, consistently, yeah. which is like, it's yeah, like, and it's so – it's, like, just dreaming. He's building yeah. a level of mental toughness that, uh, I mean, I can tell you from experience just working with all kinds of different people, I mean, you got to really want it. It's not um, – it's it's super draining, but he he did it. He just – you just got to become a machine and realize, like, what kind of legacy do you want to live? I uh, – Leave. I went into this meet, and I was like – and I, I, you know, sorry if this is kind of weird, but I was like – if I die tomorrow, like yesterday, I was like, if I die today, if I die tomorrow, it's like, let me at least die, like, with grace. <laughs> I was like, let me at least, like, do it, and if I die on my third deadlift, that's fine. Yeah. You know? That's, like, the mentality I, I like, always come in with. So, that is, like, taxing. You know? <laughs> Obviously, that's quite taxing. Basically, but. like, I'm going to give it everything, and, yeah. like, who cares how I feel? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which is, like, it's a tough thing to yeah. do, but, I mean, that's what... Being great, and I think what John has achieved is great, is not always going to be going to the gym when you feel like it. Um, there are things you can do to help that make that a little bit easier. But, I mean, there's a lot of things. You have to sacrifice, especially in powerlifting. The, when you get to the top and you want to stay at the top and you got to keep improving, keep improving, keep improving, it's like you're getting squeezed the, the more that you improve and you're going to have to sacrifice more. You're going to have to give this up, give that yeah. up. And uh, there, I mean, for some people, there comes a point where, and that's kind of like where he was mentally, where, like, I don't want to keep giving things up in order to get that next little PR, you know? Yeah, because, like, and, you know, again, I'll... But know, we did it. I'll be very, like, transparent, you know, like, um, you know, I turned 31 uh, in, like, two weeks. Uh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, some people think I'm, I'm, like, 25. Like 20, Happy some, birthday in advance. Thank you. Some people think I'm, like, 25, you know? And, like, my family, my parents... They're not getting uh, younger, so I want to. I want to like spend time with them, you know. And I, I have the life. I've like, you, you know, that's all like where I'm at. I'm not like 20, or, like 24, 25, where I'm like, you know, we can just do this. Like I have um, aspects outside of lifting that I'm like, hey, you know, time's finite. Um, you know, like even with like Nina, you know, like you know, we want to start. You know, we're getting to that age where it's like, hey, like, do you want your grandkids to meet? your grandparents you know mm -hmm. what I mean? you know what i mean so those are those questions are concerns, yeah develop yeah. question yeah those are questions that get developed as you you know as time passes and um you know is is sometimes it's just like like i love lifting but you know times times ever rolling you know ba and, balance ba yeah time yeah. comes for us all and you have to balance that out which is like difficult but um thankfully now we have i believe like seven, 29 weeks tw yeah it's a long time to chill yeah. out um and pace it out and you know adjust things that need to be addressed and bring the most exciting package ever like i i think john is setting himself up that when it's all said and done when he looks back um like i said time does come for us he'll be like man i'm 
I left it all on the table, yeah, I, and yeah. there were ups and downs, um, mostly ups, but I'm I'm really happy that I was able to leave my mark. Yeah. What does it mean that's different now than it did two years ago when you won the world championship? <sighs> like in, uh, when I won in Sweden? Yeah, yeah like that, was, that one versus this one. Yeah, that was... Um, I saw Gustav, and I was like, bro, this dude's jacked. <laughs> I was yeah, like, man, very, like, I was like, this dude's imposing, like, yeah. this dude's a, like, this, this is a Chad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, Gustav's a great guy. And, like, I remember getting to that meet, and I had done three really hard meets injured uh, within six months of each other during 2021. Uh, I came into that meet injured. And th that's the biggest mental tax thing on me, on me, I feel like. Out of the last, like, seven meets, I've been injured for, like, six. Um, and that was like something we... Are you injured now? No. That's a, this is like the first, besides P, uh, powerlifting American Nationals in 2022, this is the first meet I've not been like injured. And I was just like... And part of that is changing, changing his technique on squat and... Mentality. John will push through things and not like... Like he won't... We, he, he'll be like, it's more important for me to do the meet than it's to like stop everything and address this. And, it, and he'll just like push through it. And I mean, cause we communicate a lot. Like we yeah. talk pretty much like every day. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's, it's not like it's, we totally could have skipped meets and, yeah. and especially when there was like a, let's just say the schedule of powerlifting was changing and there were a lot of commitments that we had to do and that made us have to compete like very frequently. And when you compete, like I said, you're going max all out so frequently, it's not good for longevity. So now we can, I mean, what's crazy is like for this meet, we just fixed everything. And then we, we now yeah. we even have even more time. We're in a great position yeah. to set John um, up. But yeah. to your question, yeah. um, I feel like, you know, I feel like I made things right in a sense. Because last year, um, you know, you, you never know how it would have went. But like we made a wrong call, or what the wrong number was put in. And like. I, that was, was, that I, wasn't was, even, I was in the U.S. I was, like, losing my mind. I'm, yeah. like, you know. I was, so, I was tired. I'm yeah. just, like. It's tough. You know, it's, it's, um, that's why this time I was, like, nah, I need, I need to be here. We need to make this right. Um, and, you know, it's tough. Like, you're, okay, that third deadlift situation, it's really, really, really stressful. And, like, there's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. And, um, like, when you're working, that was the first time uh, with this um, group. Uh, this like country, this federation, uh, right? And like, I feel like it's really good that I came here because like now I know everybody and everybody like we understand each other and like everything is like really um, it, we're all on the same page and it just allows us to like be one giant mind like sort of calling like making things happen and and it takes practice. Yeah, it does. You, you with, know, with the, when, yeah. when you're dealing with new personnel, like exactly, uh, with John, right. with me, I was just I was telling someone uh, after squat, I was like, he's literally like. Uh, it was after, once we hit a certain, once he became like national champion, like yeah. we never missed any. We usually like never miss anything, yeah. right? Yeah. And I'm always there. Yeah. So, you know, but yeah, it's all good. Like it's, it's fixed now. And yeah. I'm really confident with uh, the USA team. And um, I'm excited to, you know, continue to just do what we do. All right. Well, last question, John, I'll be killed if I don't ask is just, you know, what's next? Sheffield. All right. More than likely, like ninety percent, unless like nah, ninety nine. No, he nine, said ninety nine percent. You already answered. We're gonna cut it right when you said yeah, Sheffield. Sorry. <laughs> unless a meteorite like hits it. Huh? Pete's not here. Pete's not here. <laughs> Sheffield. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, we're just so proud of you. You're a huge inspiration to everyone out there. Um, one of the most inspiring lifters uh, of this generation. I think we're in the in the Jonathan Keiko era. By the way, I was gonna ask yeah. you guys about the the era situation, but. We'll let you get out of here. Um, thank you again, and uh, congrats to both thank of you. Thank you so you. much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Wow, a round of applause. I got to use the restroom. I got to use the restroom. Yeah, I did too. <laughs>